week of Trinity 4, Tuesday, a murmured sermon for you to remember. Remember the word to your servant, upon which you have caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, that your word gives me life. Psalm 119, verses 49 and 50. Dearly beloved, do you find it difficult at times to know what to pray? On the days of affliction and during the nights of torment, it is often difficult to form the words in your mind. Numbing pains, grief, terror, weariness, and guilt are capable of silencing our prayers. When this happens, here are three helpful suggestions to consider. First, pray the promises of God by simply praying His Word. The psalm verse for today is a fine example. Write it down, pray it often, memorize it. At night, if you can't remember it, pray a part of it or put it into your own words and ponder how it applies to you. Lord, I am hurting. You give me hope. Your word gives me life. O oh God, be merciful to me. Second, pray the promises of God by singing hymns aloud or in your mind. Pick hymns that focus on and proclaim salvation by remission of sins through Jesus and that rightly distinguish law and gospel. Just as you work on memorizing scripture verses, so you are invited to commit solid hymns to memory. Third, bear in mind and keep your mind set on the truth that the Lord is with you. Through his word, Jesus draws sinners to himself just as he did so long ago when tax collectors and sinners heard him and drew near to hear more. What did they hear that day? Oh, it was a marvelous sermon, and it was preached by those who hated Jesus, loathed the gospel, and sought to get rid of both. It was a short sermon, and worthy of being committed to memory for today and for the nights ahead. Here follows the complete sermon. And both the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. Luke 15, verse 2. This man is Jesus. He is Jehovah incarnate. Along with the Father and the Holy Spirit, Jesus is the Lord God. It is most certainly true that God receives sinners. He does so because of his grace as revealed on the cross of Christ and his mercy manifested from the empty tomb. Jesus receives sinners through his word and he draws us near to him. Jesus sends out the invitation to his feast by means of the ministry of his word. Stewards of the gospel teach and tell this good news. Sinners are drawn unto the Savior and he receives us at his table where we eat together with the Lord God. Prayer. Lord, you receive sinners and eat with them. I am such a soul. You receive me and prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I am blessed to be at your table today and forever. Remember the word to your servant, upon which you have caused me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, that your word gives me life. Amen. Hymn number 318. Before thee, God, who knowest all, with grief and shame I prostrate fall. I see my sins against thee, Lord, the sins of thought, of deed, and word. They press me sore, I cry to thee, O God, be merciful to me. O Lord my God, to thee I pray, O cast me not in wrath away. Let thy good spirit ne'er depart, but let him draw to thee my heart, that truly penitent I be. O God, be merciful to me. O Jesus, let thy precious blood be to my soul a cleansing flood. Turn not, O Lord, thy guest away, but grant that justified I may go to my house at peace with thee. O God, be merciful to me. Mm -hmm.